Hey guys, my name is Titanesh Nore and today I'm going to review the unofficial Cyanogen Mod 13 build by Temasek and let's get into it. First of all, let's get into settings and these are the Wi-Fi settings and all, the normal phone settings and let's get into sounds and you can change the finger as well and you have different ringtones over here and you have option to launch the music app as soon as the headset is connected and you can turn on also vibrate for calls and you can change the vibrate vibration intensity and as you can see it comes uh, with the viper for android which i think is the best application for the equalizing and let's get into display and settings and you can see you can change the brightness level and you can turn also turn on the adaptive brightness which is a very nice feature I've turned it off right now and you can also change your LCD density and you can turn on and off the daydream and you also have the battery life these are the LED lights of course and you also have the notification lights over here you can change it according to your needs and we're gonna go in themes as you know that uh, Cyanogen mod you can download many themes according to what you like and let's get into notifications and you can change the settings over here the heads up notification do not disturb and all and you can filter notifications as well and let's get into lock screen and we're gonna s and you can see there's the four option swipe which is the current lock screen right now and the pattern and pin and password and you can also have a live lock screen and I don't know what it is let's check it out and it's basically a, a, like the daydream I guess and you can also set a lock screen message like uh, I'm gonna set up the Chitanya's S3 and it will show up on the lock screen now let's check it out and as you can see it is showing the Chitanya S3 so let's get in and you can change the wallpapers according to your needs and let's get into buttons and you can change the buttons as you like and it has a very nice feature which I use in AOSP based ROMs and it is that uh, when you double tap the notification bar it turns off the screen and it is on right now and let's get out of it let's get into battery and you can change the battery mode over here power saving mode and it also gives you a notification that the power saving mode is on let's turn it off and you also have the warning color you can turn off right like this and now if you turn on the power saving mode it will not show the orange color and let's turn it off once again let's get into security and you can encrypt your phone and you can also turn on installation from unknown sources let's get out of it then you can set up the users as well it has a guest mode that is and let's get into system profiles and you can change the settings over here what you like let's get into status bar and you can see you can change the clock style as well now the clock is in the center left and you can see you can also set it to hidden put it in right and you can also make the day shown let's turn it off and you can change that as well and you have many features over here it is a very customizable ROM you can also change the battery status style let's change it to text and you can also change the battery bar you can also change the temperature so let's get out of it and you can also have the carrier label so as you can see it has many many different uh, customizable features so let's get into Demasec space parts and you can see uh, more customizable features over here and this ROM is very customizable and you can add many accounts over here 
according to your needs and you can also turn in on and off the location services and let's get into date and time there's nothing over here let's get into accessibilities and you can have a magnification gestures over here as well so how this is how it works nice feature and you can turn on large text which I really don't need and you also have a high contrast settings over here and you can also turn on the color inversion very handy with the Samsung devices because of the AMOLED now these black pixels are turned off so it may save some battery life I guess let's get down once again and as you can see that the candle is enforcing right now and it shows every thing related to your phone let's get out of it now let's get into status bar and as you can see that now it is a night times notification bar it is showing night time and swiping down gives us many more options right over here you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi settings, the Bluetooth, the SIM card, auto rotate, location services, and let's turn off the auto rotate. And you can also turn on the airplane mode. Uh, let's get into apps, and it also comes with the audio effects. I really don't like this app. I like the Viper for Android, and it comes with the browser. It is the stock Android browser. And let's get into calculator, the stock Android calculator the stock android calendar the stock android camera i guess okay yes and many settings over here well it comes with the many settings over here and you can change the picture size i personally keep it to 6 megapixel in the i9300 because of the 16 ratio 9 and let's get into picture quality and let's get into 100% and you can also change the ISO right over here I don't think it works and you can change the exposure which I think works and you can also change the white balance this camera is a little bit different than the stock Android and you can also change to video camera mode and you can also go into paranormal mode let's turn it off and delete that and let's go back and let's get into clock and this is the clock app the stock android clock app nothing more over here and this is the contacts app the stock android uh, contacts app nothing more in it and let's get into documents so and this is the file manager let's allow that and press ok and this is the find manager and let's get into gallery right now my phone doesn't have a lot of pictures just some of these pictures of assassin's creed unity let's get into messaging app and i think this is the stock android messaging app and this is the keyboard the stock android keyboard let's get into music app and there's no music on my phone right now and there's omni switch so it put recent app button right uh, on the screen let's get out of it and there it is and we're gonna clear that we can clear that and very nice feature I guess I really like this feature so let's get into OTA updates as you can see this is the OTA update app and it will not show anything because my phone is not connected to a Wi-Fi right now and let's get into 4 app this is the dialer the stock Android and it is a screen cast uh, application to record the screen let's try to get out of it and let's and this is the 
wiper for android let's get out of it and this is the filter for apps so let's get into wallpapers it comes with many wallpapers let's set one up and the wallpaper is changed let's get into widgets many widgets up there and you can also go into settings right over here and you can turn on the search bar which I cannot right now so you can also change the draw style let's set it up to compact and let's set the draw color to dark and we're gonna set the first scroller type to horizontal and now it is in vertical the ROM does not come with any Google Apps so you have to install Google Apps and I will make a separate video about that uh, the applications are called GAPS it is a zip file that you have to flash and I'll make a video about it and as you can see that the device is now very very fluent and it is running very smoothly and it is very fast right now so it is a great feature for this ROM it is very fast and fluent thanks for watching guys